Hey, good Friday morning, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm. I wanted to do a video update for you this morning. We have some active weather ahead for the next 24 hours, including an enormous temperature change by this time tomorrow morning. A lot of people, like myself, have the windows open this morning, uh, but uh, by this time tomorrow morning, we'll be bundling up and a very November-like weekend lies ahead. Let's start with the surface map. This morning, all is quiet in Ohio and Pennsylvania. We don't have the thick fog in parts of the area this morning like we had yesterday morning. And it's going to turn out to be a, a nice, mostly sunny morning and a good chunk of the afternoon hours will be fairly sunny as well. But this is our front off to the north and west. That means some business. This is producing some showers in Chicago, Milwaukee, Green Bay, heading up into parts of Michigan and uh, all the way back to Kansas City. We've got some showers out there this morning. I'll actually uh, take off the radar and bring up the temperature so you can really see how sharp this front is. We are in the 50s to around 60 here locally this morning, but look on the other side of the front. You go from mid-60s to upper 30s in a relatively short distance. Look at this. That is how sharp this front is. It really means some business as it comes east and it'll be arriving here overnight tonight. So let's uh, talk about the timing of showers and the timing of the cooler air. We have some, of course, uh, high school football playoff action in parts of Ohio and Pennsylvania this evening, and uh, all important uh, will be the weather forecast for tonight. Uh, clouds will bubble up from time to time today, but again, I suspect we are largely dry. And temperature-wise today, the record is 78. Uh, Youngstown, along with Morgantown, West Virginia, Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, all these areas that are circled are going to be flirting with records today. And I have a suspicion we're going to tie or even break that record by maybe a degree this afternoon. So it's going to be very warm. And then look at tomorrow's highs. You go from this to this. Uh, temperatures tomorrow no higher than the upper 40s to around 50. Now today the Storm Prediction Center, part of the National Weather Service, does have Parts of Ohio outlined in an elevated risk of severe weather, especially in northwest Ohio, where you see the yellow coloring. That's a slight risk, basically a 2 on a 1 to 5 scale. Uh, Finley, Toledo, Lima, and then places such as Sandusky, Cleveland, Columbus, Dayton, Cincinnati, all in the kind of 1 out of 5 on the severe weather risk scale. Uh, we do not have much of a severe weather risk here tonight as these showers push east. It'll be well after dark this evening. And while a rumble of thunder and some flashes of lightning are going to be possible, I don't think uh, hail and damaging winds will be much of a concern around here. So again, the timing of the showers mostly after dark. And after dark now is 6.30. Sunset this evening is like at 6.29. So here's our high-res future cast uh, showing what the radar should look like going forward. Here's 5 o'clock this evening. Uh, northwest Ohio showers and thunderstorms. There may be a couple of isolated showers trying to break out in Worcester and Canton and maybe down towards Mount Vernon right around 5 o'clock this evening, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. I can't rule out a passing shower uh, around sunset this evening, but by far and away the wetter, more active part of the night will be a few hours after sunset this evening. So you can see everything is very hit or miss or widely scattered through 8, 9 o'clock. Here's 10 o'clock. This is when things will become a little more active. I think 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, midnight tonight, mostly after our local high school football games. Uh, again, a passing shower is going to be a possibility during the games this evening, but the most numerous showers, including an elevated risk of maybe some scattered thunder and lightning, will be as we head into the late evening. And yeah, say goodbye to today's warmth. This is the last time we're going to see temperatures in the upper 70s for quite some time, probably until next spring. We're going to settle into a pretty chilly looking pattern for the rest of October and early November. Now, it's supposed to be chilly in late October and early November, but cooler than average most of these temperatures. Our averages right now are in the upper 50s. Ten days from now, our averages are around 53, 54. And you can see a lot of the temperatures here plotted up by our model would be below average or at the most optimistic, very near average. We won't have a lot of days coming up in which we are way above average like we will be today. And again, even flirting with a record this afternoon. All right, thanks for watching this morning. I'll see you this evening on 21 News at 6 and 11. Enjoy your Friday.